Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna create something different. It's going to be a tool roll. Or maybe a knife roll or a pencil roll. Depends what you need. What you see right now on the screen is main body part. Free pattern is included in this video. But bear in mind you need a free printer for this one. But if you haven't got one I will give you all the measurements. So the flap should be around 10 cm by 30 cm. Pocket compartment and widest point should be 10 and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeter with total length of 30 centimeters. Same like flap. And the last one is 6.5 centimeters. Main body should be 56 centimeters long and 21 centimeters wide. This part is 47 centimeters. If you want to build knife roll, you will have to make it wide. All depends what knife you're using. It might be also plastic ninja knife. Also, if you want to build knife roll, you have to make the compartment pockets wider. If you want to do pencil roll, you have to make uh, them pockets more narrow. When you create your own pattern, place it on the leather and start cutting out. I use here about 2 mm thick uh, vegetan leather, which I will be dyeing later on in horse chestnut color. This project is uh, about 2 hours to complete if you don't dye the leather. If you dye the leather, it's about a day and a half. I use stitching machine to stitch this project, but if you do hand stitching, it might take a bit longer. With punching tool, mark the mounting points for the strap. And then use an awl to mark up uh, all the ends of stitching lines. Skip that part if you're using a stitching machine. And now use a ruler and scratch all to mark stitching lines. Obviously do that only when you do hand stitching. If you do machine stitching, you can do, you have to do it only on the compartment part. Use the ruler only on vertical part of stitching lines. For the rest, we can use compass. It's way quicker to use that tool on the edge line. Now it's time to cut out compartment pocket. And if you use stitching machine, we will mark all the stitching lines on this one. And when you stick it together, you will have guidelines for your sewing machine. So now you scratch all to mark all stitching ends. So later on when we use a ruler, we know where to place it. Obviously these lines can be modified, it depends what you want to place into the pockets. And again we're using compass to mark um, stitching on the edges. And last thing what we're gonna cut out is the flap. It has only one stitching line so you can mark it with the compass too. For the tool roll and pencil roll I use one strap 25 millimeters by 50 centimeters. Obviously if you do knife roll you can do two straps and a handle. In the future I might do premium pattern which will include all of those. And again I'm using my presses for the punching tools. It's perfect if you want a quiet environment. And now let's make some nice and clean edges on the belt. And now it's time for dyeing. 
I use English made uh, North Salt dye in color horse chestnut. It's an oil dye. If you're not dyeing your leather, you can skip about one minute. When you're drying the leather, you can have a little nap. All right, let's do second layer. Second layer, I've got my helper, Joanna. She's quite good at dying. And look how fast she can do it. Give good few hours for the last layer to dry. I usually leave it overnight and then we can apply some uh, leather finish. Please do wear gloves when you do it because it can stick to your fingers. To apply finish we use sponge, uh, makeup sponge to be precise. They're quite absorbent and gentle so they don't scratch the leather and then don't leave the parts like cotton parts do. We usually apply two layers of finish as well, but the finish is quite quickly drying. So after an hour you can apply something on a flesh side. This time we use a moss bag, but you also can use tokonol for the same finish. But moss bag is way cheaper and gives you exact same effect. It might smell funny though. You don't have to apply it everywhere, but on the traps it's very important to apply it. Shortly after it dry, just polish it with a burnisher. Now it's time to do some gluing before stitching. Obviously if you do hand stitching you don't need to glue anything. Let's fold down the pocket. If you do your own roll and you got slightly different pattern, remember that you have to leave about a centimeter of space between pocket and a compartment so it can roll nicely. I use a little tape to don't make too much mess with glue. But if you've got steady hand, you don't need to do it. And as usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content similar to this, please subscribe to our channel. It will motivate us to make more free content for you. If you have a look on our other videos, we got quite a few patterns already, which you can download and use as you wish. Always leave one minute or two for the glue to dry. It's gonna stick to itself better. For the fold I use bone creaser. And it's nearly ready to start stitching. I've got a really old stitching machine. It's from 1920s, I believe. It's heavy, massive, and sometimes it made mistakes, but it's also bulletproof equipment. I record only stitching one side, but you have to stitch both of them, obviously. I only put the tape so you can see uh, where the glue should go in a pocket compartment. First stitching line should go the same as glue goes, so it creates the first pocket and then you stitch all the vertical lines separately. And quick demonstration video how we stitch it all up.
And the last bit we need to sew in is the flap. When you finish all the stitching, use bone greaser to make pockets pop up. Then I like to cut all the corners from flap and uh, the main body part, so it looks a bit more nicer and neat. And then punch out two holes for the strut. I forgot to clean uh, the edge on the strap before, so we can do it now anyway. As usual for the edges, I use token on here. And it's time to punch out and mount the buckle. For the strap here I used a three and a half millimeter thick leather. And this way you can easily attach it to the tool row. You can use snap rivets or the screw rivets. You don't have to be the strongest connection because the strap will go around the tool row anyway. Now let's uh, shape the tool roll and uh, roll it in for the first time. Insert the strap into the buckle and mark up where second hole should be. I always add one hole after this one, so even when straps stretch with the age, you can still use it. The tool you see right now, it's quite a handy tool for all the straps and belts. It's easier to find the middle with it. I think project take me too long, you can see in the background. She's sleeping or anything. At the end we use some knit foot oil to feed the leather. It makes the leather a little bit more flexible as well. After you apply it, leave it for about 20 minutes and give it good polish with a brush. It's all finished. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon in our next video.